Welcome to this video on Superman, Sonic Boom and Supersonic Flight Characteristics. The objective of this video is to learn aerodynamics in a fun manner. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world so please do subscribe to our channel. Now many of you would remember the iconic scene from the 2013 movie Man of Steel where Henry Cavill's Superman character is learning to fly and is shown to eventually break the sound barrier. We will replay that scene for you to focus on the visual and sound. It should be noted that flight characteristics change dramatically as an object goes from subsonic speed that is slower than sound speed to supersonic speed. Let's dive into that phenomenon a little deeper. If you throw a stone in a pond, a ripple is created that propagates in all directions. Imagine now that a stone or any object is moving in a particular direction in water. As it moves and its speed increases, the object will get closer to the ripple in front of it and further away from the ripples behind it. The ripple has its own speed and it is equivalent to the speed of sound in that medium. Now think about this. Is it possible that the object moves fast enough to outspeed the ripple it created? Well, in water that is harder to do because the speed of sound in water is very high, about 1500 meter per second. So now let's consider air. The air around us also acts like water in that any disturbance in it also creates invisible ripples. It is easier to outspeed the ripples in air because the speed of sound in air is relatively slower that is about 343 meter per second. When an object outspeeds the ripple it created, this results in a bang-like sound. It is because of the creation of shock waves. This sound is called the sonic boom. Interestingly, the crack of the whip is also a sonic boom at a small scale. When the whip is given a jolt at the handle, the ripple created increases in speed as it reaches the end. The end of the whip can move 30 times faster than the initial movement provided. When the end of the whip reaches a faster speed than sound, the cracking sound is produced. Likewise, when a bullet is fired, it also creates a mini sonic boom. So we've just learned why the sound was produced as Superman broke the sound barrier in the clip shown earlier. Next we look at how flight dynamics change with speed. We all know that when you pass air through a nozzle, it tends to speed up. If you pass it through a diffuser, the air tends to slow down. If however the flow entering the nozzle is supersonic to begin with, then instead of further speeding up the flow, the nozzle actually slows it down. On the other hand, let's consider a diffuser. If the flow at the inlet is supersonic, its speed would further increase as it comes out of the diffuser. That is the reason diffusers, not nozzles, are seen at the back of a space shuttle. So you can notice how flow behavior reverses from subsonic to supersonic. This is just one aspect of the change in flight dynamics. If you look at the design of aircrafts that can reach supersonic speeds, you will note that they are shaped differently compared to aircrafts that fly relatively slower. Supersonic aircrafts are sleeker. Even the aerofoils, that is the shape of the cross-section of the wings, is flatter. Now compare this to the cross-section of a subsonic aircraft and you will notice that their wings have a more thicker profile. An ideal aircraft should therefore be able to change its shape as its speed increases from subsonic to supersonic. This has been achieved to some extent through variable sweep wings and adjustable nozzle shape in fighter jets like F-14 Tomcat, Panavia Tornado and the MiG-27. These aircrafts can sweep their wings back after reaching supersonic speeds. Some variable sweep wing aircrafts were also produced by Russia such as the Sukhoi Su-17 and the Su-24, but they also adopted another approach to improve flight dynamics at supersonic speeds. 
they rolled out the forward swept aircrafts. The forward swept wing configuration gives excellent agility and maneuverability to the aircraft even at high speeds. The Sukhoi Su-47 is an example of that. Now this brings us to a fun question for you guys. Do you think Superman's posture should be arms close to the body or in the after swept position as he is flying through the air? Or should they be extended forward that is the forward swept position? Research about this and let us know the answer. The best answer would be pinned at the top in the comment section. On a side note, the tip speed on the wind turbine can also reach close to the speed of sound. It should be remembered that the linear velocity of the blade may not be very high at the root of the blades, but at the tip of the blade, the linear velocity is very high. The tip speed therefore is a limiting factor for the rotational speed of the turbine and large wind turbines are deliberately made to rotate slowly. The video on Superman and supersonic flight dynamics is concluded. If you haven't already watched them, we have videos on learning physics through comic books. These videos feature the Iron Man suit, the Spider-Man's web and Batman's hover jet. We will be adding more to this collection so please do subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you learned something from this video. This encourages us to do more. Thank you for your attention.